The sun's finally out and it continues to be out at WB and Sons in Newcastle where their June sale has got some gorgeous cars in it from cars, bikes, motorhomes and all kinds of memorabilia and automotive oddities that we love seeing from the auction house. That includes, well, just check it out. What a great way to kick off their 3rd of June auction than this 1968 Series 1.5 Jaguar E-Type. Triple wipers, the 4.2 litre XK, You've got the open headlights. This is glorious. This has had a full nut and bolt restoration. It looks No like stone it. unturned. It's, it's fabulous. absolutely brilliant. It's, I think it's a really sensible guide price in relative terms mm. to E-Type values, worth pointing For out. For what it is, I think it's worth every penny. I mean, just, it's gorgeous. I don't even want to touch it. It's absolutely lovely. An E-Type is a proper lottery win classic for me, so, uh, and, th and this is a resplendent example. It so. is, but if you want a lottery win 60s classic, well, I mean, Something a bit, uh, a bit more German, a bit more sturdy. This is a bit of me, absolutely love it. Mercedes W108, very rare chassis, 280, SE. Caledonian green, I think That's it is. right, it's gorgeous. It was imported brown... from South Africa, is that it, right, in 2016, I that's think? That's right, yeah, imported from South Africa, so it's a rot-free car. The brown leather interior contrasts beautifully, and this is the injected six-cylinder, which means it's Listen. more reliable, Listen. more economical. This one's the manual gearbox, a more unusual choice, this one. Presents beautifully, I absolutely love this. It's absolutely stunning indeed. And You're again, right. for what you get, I think the guide price is very fair. Yeah, no, solid as a rock, that. But what if you need to carry some rocks? Well, I wouldn't put them in this one, but what about this Bedford CA van, Phil? I know, it's uh, it's great, isn't it? Again, fully restored this. Perkins diesel engine, column gear change, makes it a little bit unusual. It's had the interior re-trimmed. That sounds unusual for a van, but yep, individual seats in there, not a bench seat in this one. They've been really nice. You don't actually leather seats in there. Oh, I think it's fabulous. It's what, brilliant. What a, what a vehicle. I mean, the sliding door as well, just, it's not one for next day deliveries, but you know what, no. I think this is a prime example of a van. Like it, like you did there. there Excellent. You go. But if this isn't fast enough for you, there's some performance beauties over Let's here. Let's go. But first, our friends at Lancaster Insurance are running monthly giveaways. You can win all sorts, from experience days to tools, restaurant vouchers, and tech. So click the link below at the end of the video to enter their latest competition. We well, couldn't get a bigger contrast with that Bedford van than with this 2005 Nissan 350Z. I know, and what an example. I mean, 15,000 miles on this thing. Glorious, isn't it? I love the color combo. Metallic gray, orange interior. The right color combo. Yeah, it just looks fantastic. These were always underrated as far as I'm concerned. Really good engine in these. I think they look car. stunning. But if you want to talk about lovely examples of underrated cars, well, this is another low mileage uh, car, isn't it? 15,000 miles. On this 2000 year Maserati 3200 GT. I mean, just gorgeous. This is, Love a, it. is an absolute the, bargain. Even this condition with this mileage, this is still a bargain. And this one stands out in a big way. Manual gearbox. A manual one, gearbox, sir, which beautiful. Which makes it all the more desirable, all the more drivable. I want it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Love I think it. this is fantastic. I mean, over there, a little bit less exotic, but if anything, even more charming. There's that lovely little Bedford Rascal pickup truck there. That makes me smile, but not nearly as much as this. I mean, I know you're not into your bikes, but go with me. Honda Cub 90. This, for me, Phil, is not just the greatest motorcycle ever made, but possibly the greatest vehicle ever made. Let me put this into context for you. If you were to combine the Beetle, the Corolla, the Model T, all the versions of the Mini, you still wouldn't have half the total number of sales for oh, this. Goodness. Over wow. 120 million of these have been made. This is a Cub 90, which is the bigger engine. You say they're still making these today? They're still making these today. Yeah. This one, less than 12,000 miles on it, but that is nothing to a Cub 90. People have been around the world on these things, Phil. But even I would be tempted by that. But this is a say. lovely example. Those of you who are into your Cubs will know that these have been a bit of a cheap snotter to abuse for a while. This one, lovely example. I'd ride this to work. It's absolutely lovely. But if you fancy a little bit more refinement, there's plenty more stuff out Okay, here. let's head this way. Now, refinement is a relative term, Phil, but when you're talking about a Ford Escort Mark II Mexico, I think we can make an exception for a few little bits of squeaks and rattles. Yes, I think we're ready to forsake a bit of refinement for something as fantastic as this. 1977 Ford Escort Mexico Mark II, one of just two and a half thousand made. Totally original, black with silver pinstripe. Love yeah, that's it. just a spectacular Those condition. Wing bucket seats, the three-spoke steering wheel. Big Mexico badge there. Yeah, you know what? I can see why people lust after these. This Short is... of the RS2000, this is the uh, Mark II to have, right? This is the same money as a new Focus RS, but this will turn more heads. I must show you these two exquisite German saloons here. We've got an E21 3 Series, which has got the 1.8 fuel injected engine in it. But the one I'd actually have is this 320 Auto. 
E30. E30. Still relatively poverty spec. It's got windy windows, it's got cloth seats, but I think it's all the better for it. Lovely, the skinny bumpers as well. Yeah, much wanted. I, uh, I think it's absolutely fabulous. So uh, This E21, not as outwardly tidy. I mean, there's a little bit of rust on the wheels. The boot, the paint is a little bit scruffy, a few little odds and sods, but actually underneath it's solid as a rock. Mechanically, it's beautiful, drives really well. I like the fact it's not perfect because this is a rare car that if it was mint, you wouldn't want to use. Yeah. When it's not perfect, you're okay with using it and you can use it, use it every single day. It's a five-speed manual, so it's going to be fine on the motorway. I think it's lovely, great fun. I like the E21 just because they're more unusual. But if you fancy your classics a little bit older, you've got to see this. How's this for a traditional British classic here, Joe? 1959 Morris Oxford Traveller. This thing is gorgeous, isn't it? You could saunter up and down the newly laid M1 motorway in this. Six people on that big old bench seat and you would get smiles all around. And you get smiles around if you have one today because there are less than 100 Morris Oxford Travellers left. And this wow. one, you can see why you want to hold on to it. And indeed, previous owners have, because in its 60 plus year life, it's had three owners. Wow. Incredible. I, I love this. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, there's something really endearing about the estate models as well, isn't it? Charming, isn't it? Yeah. Charm from an altogether different era behind you, though. Toyota Celica GT4. Yeah, now this is great, isn't it? Because uh, this has got a full Toyota service history. And one owner. It was originally someone's company car, and then they bought it off the company at the three-year mark when the lease ended. And they've owned it ever since, taking it to a Toyota for everything. Bone stock, no mods. I love it, and I want it. Yeah. But I also kind of want this. I mean, <laughs> I know this. This is definitely very tempting territory. Mercedes 500 SEC, glorious shape. 126 coupe. I love this. This is arguably certainly peak S class, if not peak Mercedes. Yeah. I think it's lovely. The I think it's the right VA. the right condition, so that it's not too expensive, but also it's the right condition that you wouldn't be too precious about driving it. So. Agreed. And of all the 90s and 80s luxury cars available in this sale. This would be my pick. Look yeah, well, interestingly, a slightly more modern German coupe is that BMW 850. Also in the sale is that the 840 V8 model. And this uh, is the 850, though, the V12, the bad boy. And I love this. I mean, it's, it's the dark grey is a nice sinister colour for it. It's on the M parallel wheels, which for me are the best wheels for an 80. They are the best wheels. It's not absolutely perfect, and you do have to keep on top of the maintenance, but V12 coupe like this, this kind of money, it looks to kill for. It's just fantastic. Yeah. Either the V8 or the V12 8 series, I don't think you'd go wrong, frankly. But there's some smaller pocket rockets over there, if this is a bit too big for yeah, you. Yeah, okay, let's go over there. Have a look. Plenty of minis in the sale as normal to keep Jeff happy. A couple of lovely Rover minis. That's lovely dark green. This one, nicely modified example. But if you want to talk nicely modified, already the king of the hot hatches, 205 GTI. And this one's got- Not a, a 1.9, is it? No, a little cheeky secret. This one, two litre MI16 engine. Really like this, a little bit of extra go, but it's been nicely painted outside and blended in, so you'd never know. Damper settings actually have been calibrated to suit that two litre engine, so it's driving it, really it, well. It just drives like a more powerful 205 GTI, and yeah. that is a very good thing. But listen, the king of the hot hatches in this sale is this, mm. 1993 Nova GSI. It's a rarity in its own right of course but this one mint yeah stunning condition isn't it it's not restored just no. very very well kept underneath just incredible condition good to go ready good to, to run go and enjoy the summer show season the three spoke alloys on there just love those inside i mean has this even been sat in not a mark on it really underrated hot hatch it was overlooked by almost all mm. the other hot hatches on the market at the time a real kind of left field yeah. choice really so i sent some other great cars in the sale that are outside so Big shout out for the uh, Rover HU7 Vitesse Fastback. That's yes, we all love that. That is a proper beauty. I've just come back from a drive in a Triumph 2000 Mark I Estate. That was a Excellent. beauty of a 60s barge. There's a Jaguar S type, there's an MG BGT. Hillman Avenger. Hillman Avenger. A Fiat yes. Tempra station wagon. When was the last time you saw one of those? And in here, I mean, Morris Minor Convertible. I could see a Porsche 993. There's multiple R107, some beam Alpine. As ever, this sale is rammed. So much variety, so much great stuff. Not to mention that Honda Supercub, of course. So and when's the sale? It is the 3rd of June, sir. So you can bid online, you can bid by proxy or over the phone. Head to the WB website for all the details of all the lots in this sale. And if you're planning to bid, do let us know what you want to have a win on. This video is proudly sponsored by Lancaster Insurance. Give them a call on 01480 400 889 for an insurance quote on your classic car. And don't forget to click the link below to enter their latest competition.